had I known going into this dress that it would take over two years and I would be making dandelions for days on end, probably wouldn't have done it. But I didn't know, so here we are. <laughs> sponsored by Misplay. More on that later. Hello, hello, my name is Shay. I like to make things and this week we are making a dandelion dress. Some of these projects start off as really big ideas or recreations that I want to make and make these big show-stopping dresses and then there's sometimes where I'm just like I just kind of want to make a dress for fun and this is one of those second ideas. As you probably might have guessed from just the look of me. I was a fairy kid growing up. I love the Tinkerbell movies. I love fairies. And you know that scene where she comes down in a little dandelion and she's wearing this dandelion dress? Or remember those pictures on Pinterest of like the upside down flowers that would be made into like a dress on a doll or a drawing? That's the energy of the dress we're going for. That's the rough concept. We're just gonna make ourselves a dandelion dress. But the first thing we really need to flesh out is design. So let's do that real quick. Basic design inspirations for this dress, like I said, they're very cottage core, very fairy, very pixie in a garden. Honestly, rather than a more subtle interpretation of like a dandelion as a dress, I'm kind of leaning towards the more literal translation of just making a dandelion a skirt. So like keeping that as the concept and maybe making it to be like a very structural, not really practical, but very like high fashion runway dress. So I'll kind of play around and sketch that up, but I really think I want a skirt made of those big dandelion floofies. Kind of like this. So we have our sketch, and to be honest, the hardest part of it is making all of those wispies and making that skirt. Okay, so for the dandelions, they have these little things with like little feathery bits on top. Maybe we kind of replicate that with these like feather trim. I think it's worth a shot. I got a couple different types of feathers because I think they're really gonna replicate that wispy look that dandelions have. I'm gonna make one dandelion of each of these, just kind of wing in it, and I'll see which one looks the best. I have been making dandelion after dandelion after dandelion and none of them look good. The fringe ones just look kind of like tassels. Other ones look like feather dusters. The wire ones are probably my favorite, but I think when you put them all together, it's just gonna look like a tangle of wires and they're so thin. I even tried making beaded ones, but just to make this little beaded stem took me 20 minutes. So <laughs> I can't make like 200 of these. <sighs> Back to researching, maybe pipe cleaners. I'm gonna look into other stuff. Okay, we have Hope. Belle Larry Cosplay here to save the day. She posted a tutorial on TikTok where she makes a giant dandelion and she brushes out yarn and it looks so good. Oh my gosh, it looks so, so good. So scrap all of these methods. We're trying the Bella Berry Cosplay yarn method. Let's give it a go. So I picked up some yarn from the craft store. I'm just gonna tie it around my desk and then I'm gonna try brushing it out. Look at this. That looks like dandelion fluff. Okay, I think I got it. It looks kind of bad right now. It looks like those truffula plants, but I tied that brushed out yarn onto a little wire and that kind of looks like a dandelion puff. Now I just need to fine tune it a little bit, but then we just got to make a lot of these guys so I can attach them onto the dress. So with a box lid, bamboo sticks, and some foam balls, I'm gonna make some little round domes that I can go and shape my dandelions on. I'm gonna glue them to the lid to make it a little more stable, but I'm pretty sure this is our method. I start by cutting my yarn into seven inch strips. Then I take those yarn pieces and knot five of them around a piece of wire, leaving the knot in the middle and the tails on the side. From there, I can unravel, brush out, and trim the yarn. I use a pet fur brush and a comb because it really just brushes and smooths out the yarn quite nicely. Once everything's brushed out, I straighten my yarn, place it on this styrofoam ball kebab skewer contraption that I've made, and give it a spray of fabric stiffener. I got the process down pretty smooth, so it just turns full factory mode, making dandelions. Many, many weeks later, I have about 100 dandelions. These took absolutely forever to make. This isn't even all of them. I'm actually super proud of how it all came out. I think they do look like dandelion stems. We'll do a little side by side here. I think they look fluffy like them. I think they spread out like them. Now it's just a matter of draping them on my dress form in a way that looks dandelion like. So I think I'm gonna kind of go for this sort of shape and then just bring it all the way around. Basically seeing if I can use rows of these to create that dome shape that you get from a dandelion. Look at how fluffy. I'm 
with that, I have used all of my dandelions and only covered half of it. But it's enough to at least give me an idea of what it looks like. Back to dandelion making. I'm making about 300 more dandelions. And that should be enough. It's gonna get a lot fluffier, but that's like at least 50. Maybe that's an overestimate. Yeah, I got distracted and I ended up setting up a 3D printer to 3D print a bow and arrow. But as that's happening, I'm gonna get back to dandelioning. So this is all the trimmings and now we brush them out. to question my choices. <laughs> I'm so bored at this point. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna stop for now. So I have all of them fluffed. I have two little pom-poms of bouquets of little dandelion fluffs. Now we just gotta starch them and make them into dandelion shapes. That's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! Dandelion fluff is everywhere. <laughs> um, so I finally finished all of my dandelions and I can finally, finally start on the dress. So it's been a while. More specifically, it's been a year and a half since I touched this project. Who knew making hundreds of dandelions would burn me out? Basically, I made dandelions for weeks straight and then I never wanted to touch this project again. So I set it aside. And here we are a year and a half later when I finally have the motivation. These have just been sitting in my house for months but I am finally taking them out because it is now springtime again, spring 2024. So the thing is, I have all my dandelions made. Look at those guys, they're done. But they're looking kind of floppy. To be fair, it has been like a year and a half. I want them to be like a little stiffer, especially before I put them on the dress and then there's no way for me to fix it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and spray them again one more time in the little bulbs. But instead of using starch or stiffening spray, I'm actually gonna water down some tacky glue and spray that mixture. There is no scientific way to do this. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is very much guess and check. Now we spray. I actually tested out a bunch of different techniques on how to stiffen this. I tried starching it again, I tried hairspraying it, I tried the watered down tacky glue in the spray bottle, but the one that's holding its shape the best is actually just using a paintbrush and brushing on a watered down version of tacky glue. I'm like, look at this, this thing's not moving. That kind of durability is what I need for this dress. So I'm gonna go through and basically just tacky glue, paintbrush, all of the dandelions that I already made. So real quick, here's dandelion montage, part two. Look at all those chickens. Uh, this isn't even all of them, but we have got most of our dandelions done. It took actually forever to glue all of these, but take a look at, even if I completely crush it, it just goes back and it's perfect. All the dandelions are finally done, so now I can start to actually put them on the dress. Let's go make a base. So step one to making this base is going to be grabbing our supplies. So we're headed to the hardware store. But before I head to the store, if you need some help covering your craft supplies or your Amazon purchases or even just like some snacks, let me tell you about this week's sponsor, Misplay. Basically, you can find new mobile games on Misplay, earn points as you play those games, and then you can redeem those points for gift cards. And there's a bunch of types of gift cards you can get from stuff like Xbox or PlayStation or Sephora to more general stuff like Walmart or Amazon or even just Visa gift cards. I'm someone who happens to like puzzle and word games a lot. So lately I've been playing Play Doku, which is a fun little puzzle game that I found and like to play when I just need a break. And right now I'm trying to save my points up for an Amazon gift card so that I can use it to buy a cosplay wig because 
I have some cosplay plans. But Miss Play has way more than just puzzle games. They have a huge catalog of mobile games from word games, strategy, adventure, and so many more. So you can discover new favorites across all genres. But if you're interested in checking Miss Play out, you can check out the link in the description, Miss Play slash Shay, to check it out for free. And if you sign up today, you can get a 200 point startup bonus, as well as if you use my code SHAY50, you'll get a bonus 50 points. So it's already 250 points starting you off to your first gift card. Check out the description below for all the details, but thank you so much Miss Play for sponsoring this video and making dresses like this possible. But with all that said, let's get back to this dandelion shenanigans. Let me get supplies. The wires? I think we're gonna go this guy. We've got our supplies. Let's make a skirt. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it can't be that hard. I'm just gonna kind of bend the wire into the shape of these two halves and kind of sculpt half a skirt out of wire. Okay, we got the front half down. Looking pretty good. Let's make the back. So I like the wire skirt, I like how it hinges, but I think I need a bit more stability than this. So I'm gonna keep adding a bit more wire all across it. And then hopefully we'll have a very sturdy skirt that I can really just snap on, snap off. And this is what we got. It's really just like a cage at this point that I can kind of like panini sandwich myself in. Now we just attach the dandelions. It is time. All I did to attach the dandelions was just wrap the wire around my little neck, and I just secured it with a bit of hot glue. You just do that dandelion after dandelion, row after row, until you start to get this dandelion shape. This shape looks so good. Okay, so now I just gotta do that all the way around. First row is done. Six more to go, and the entire back, so. I greatly underestimated how hard it would be to do all of these little twisty wiry things. Actually, not correction, not how hard it would be, how long it would take. Ooh. It took a while. It took a while. But guess what? Surprise, it's not over. I still have to do the whole back. Montage part two. came out so much better than I thought it would. And one of the coolest things, here. If you look at the top of it, it looks like a dandelion. Oh my god, it's so fluffy. And now all that's left is to make the little top that goes with it. For this top, I'm starting with a base corset that I already know fits me and I just got it off Amazon. I want something that's draped and leafy that looks kind of whimsical, but also like the bottom of a dandelion. And I just don't have it in me to hand sew that. So we shall be hot gluing. So I'm just gonna let myself have fun with it and be creative and just drape a top of my dress form for this. I found this kind of linen-y green fabric and I'm just draping that into these organic pleats. Really with no solid plan, but just playing around with it until I get a shape that I like. And then this is where I'd usually hand sew, but we're just gonna go and hot glue this down. So I've got the base pretty much done. And honestly for hot glue, she's cute. I'm trying to work on a better transition from the top to like the big poof. So I'm bending a wire around the bottom just into these little spikes. So that way I can put the fabric on top of it and create this flared base that will go over the top of the dandelion dress. And then I just did a bit of hand sewing to finish up whatever I needed to do. And we're done. And that is her. That's actually really cute. <laughs> I've still got to finish up this little shoulder bit, but that is pretty good. I started hot gluing a wire onto the top of the dress to hold some dandelion fluffs on the shoulder. I went into this with just no plans, only vibes, 4 a.m. manic energy. I just kind of did it. But at this point, I actually think it's done. So let's go put the whole thing on and do a little photo shoot. Here's our photo shoot. So this is the only way I can fit in the car with this dress. <laughs> I think I'm done. You're awesome. I love you. That is a wrap 
on the dandelion dress. We're done, we're free. So I'm actually so happy with how this came out. I'm not gonna lie, there were a few moments there where I was really worried about how it was gonna come out, especially in the midst of the dandelion making. I got a little lost in the sauce there for a while, but it really does look like a little fairy dandelion. But that's all for this two-year project. I don't have to touch dandelions ever again. Even though I do really love it, I need a break from them. But that's all for this project. I'll be back with a new project soon. But until then, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!